Mark Schneider's older brother Jack built it over the summer in their family's home garage in 1986. White fiberglass fenders. Exposed engine with an exhaust system loud enough to annoy the neighbors. Aftermarket wheels with big tires. It was a classic Baja bug. I seem to remember the cab being black and the remains of an old hot rod style flame paint job on the doors, but 30 years later I can't be sure. Mark and I would push start it every morning senior year so it would get us to high school and then again at lunchtime so we could eat off campus. It didn't matter that Mexico's Baja Peninsula was over 3,000 miles from our slice of suburbia in Old Bridge, New Jersey. Since the late 1960s, thousands of similar Volkswagen Beetles have been modified for off-road use in home garages all over the world, and the man responsible is Bruce Myers. The first Baja 1000 off-road race, then called the Mexican 1000, was held on October 31, 1967. Of the 68 vehicles that started the event, only 31 completed the 950-mile run from Tijuana to La Paz. Motorcycles led most of the race, but Vic Wilson and Ted Mangles drove to victory in a Myers Manxtoon buggy built by Myers on a Volkswagen Beetle chassis. They completed the course in 27 hours and 38 minutes. That win ignited the popularity of Baja bugs, like the one that got me to high school. Today, 50 years later, Baja bugs remain at the core of grassroots off-road competition and the Beetle has more wins in the Baja 1000 than any other model of vehicle. And next month, dozens of VWs will compete at the 50th running of the event as the modern score Baja 1000 still runs several VW-based classes, including one for stock-engined Beetles, Class 11. To celebrate half a century of competition, Volkswagen of America acquired one such Class 11 car as part of its heritage collection of historically important VW models. Built by Desert Dingo Racing, out of Santa Cruz, California, the 1969 Beetle has seen a few races, including the Mint 400 which is run out of Las Vegas. A quick walk around the flat black bug and you'd swear it would have trouble rolling down a hill, much less competing in an off-road race. Its rippled body panels have been painted with Kryland Finest and its beefy 15-inch BF Goodrich and General Nobbies barely fit under its stock steel fenders. By comparison, Schneider's home-built bug was ready for Pebble Beach. Incredibly, the suspension is essentially stock. Per class rules, the front axle tube was cut, rotated and re to increase ground clearance and the shock towers have been gusseted for strength. Rear torsion bars are allowed. The set of aftermarket remote reservoir shocks are the most expensive piece of the car. Inside there are aftermarket seats, a makeshift dash with some aftermarket gauges, racing seat belts, window nets and a roll bar, all of which are coated in decades of accumulated earth. The door panels are bare and the only glass is the windshield. Even the stock large diameter plastic steering wheel remains. A car like this can be built for about $7,000 which is of course much of the appeal. We're in the Mojave outside Barstow, California, at the Stoddard Valley Off-Highway Vehicle Park running 10-mile laps though rough desert landscape at about 30 miles per hour, similar to what the cars do in Baja. A mile in and I feel bad for the little car. To keep the momentum up I'm pushing the 1.6-liter engine around 4,000 revolutions per minute in second gear and I can hear and feel the large rocks smashing the Beetle's floor pan. The oversized tires are rubbing the fenders and there's a constant clunk in the rear suspension, but incredibly the VW keeps going, and asking for more. I get it up into third gear and about 50 miles per hour through.